Time to get up yet. Can't wake up. Leave me alone. Oh, oh, man! Another video now? So early. Oh. All right. So you can't wake up in the morning, right? Yeah, I have that problem sometimes too. Whoops. What you need to do is you need to understand why you're not waking up. What's going on? Again, a ton of reasons why you don't want to get up in the morning. Maybe the kids are screaming downstairs and you don't want to help out. Maybe you're not motivated because you don't want to go to work. Maybe the covers are nice and toasty warm and it's freezing as soon as you get up. There's a lot of reasons why you don't want to get up. But let's look at the biochemical reasons of why you're not getting up. Melatonin increases to make you fall asleep, right? We discussed that in prior videos. This video here, if you can't fall asleep, watch this one. So, if you can't wake up, your melatonin is not diminishing. And the melatonin, in order to diminish, requires bright lights. So open your curtains in the morning, or open your windows, or maybe your room is in the dark side of the house, and ever since you've moved into that place, you can't wake up at all. Maybe shift bedrooms. Maybe punch a hole in the ceiling and get a skylight. There's a few things you can do to flood lights in your room. Now, maybe you're in an apartment, or maybe you live under a rock. Doesn't matter. The point is, you need to get light in there somehow. There's also alarm clocks called sunrise, sunset alarm clocks. You can get those at various places. And what they do is you can set the timer on there. And instead of this nasty me, me, me in the morning, you get this natural brighter and brighter and brighter light. And what that does is it tells your melatonin to go away. And as your melatonin goes away, your cortisol levels go up. Cortisol levels go up your blood sugar starts pumping, and you get a lot of blood sugar going, and you wake up, you feel great. Now, if the light doesn't work, you've tried that. You've tried the sight, the light, you've tried the alarm clock, all that, and you've now you're motivated to get up, but you still can't wake up, you're still too tired. Maybe your cortisol isn't where it needs to be. This day and age, we are under constant pressure to keep going, right? You're stuck in traffic, you're yelling at the guy in front of you who just cut you off, you go to work and you gotta do all these stupid reports. You, you're just constant demand, right? Constant demand is putting a burden on your adrenals. Adrenal fatigue is real. There's very real adrenal issues. Everyone has it. Some days you feel better, some days you don't. So adrenal support is very important. And adrenals, the number one nutrients for adrenals, vitamin C, vitamin B5, and also adrenal cortex. These are very supportive of your adrenals. If you can't wake up, these three nutrients alone can do remarkable things when taken in the morning with breakfast. These three nutrients are phenomenal. So you take those in the morning and you fall asleep later in the evening, and the next day your adrenals are gonna have a little bit more gas because you're putting some more fuel in their tank and they're, they'll be able to pump out a little bit of cortisol for you and you'll be able to get up. Now, if you're starting to wake up on your own now, so having done those changes, then stop taking the adrenal cortex, stop taking the B5, and stop taking the vitamin C. Those are the nutrients in order to supplement and enhance your adrenals. I define a supplement as something that is needed to support things temporarily, not long-term. If you take adrenal cortex all the time, you're gonna start getting zits and pimples and, and possibly irritable. We don't want that. So talk with your doctor, determine what doses are appropriate for you, and they will get you on track. Now, to summarize, what's needed to get you up out of bed in the morning besides motivation? Adrenals and sunlight or bright light. And then you can support your adrenals with vitamin C, vitamin B5, and adrenal cortex. And there's something also called NADH, which is phenomenal as well to bypass some of these things and to get your energy going. Because NADH makes your ATP, which gets you up and going in the morning. So again, talk with your doctor about other things. There's other things that also might be at play here, such as thyroid issues and other multiple issues. So again, hope that serves you. And now you can wake up. Thank you. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, 
I forgot about this. ShyCon 2015, have you heard about it? You just enjoyed this video, I hope. You're excited about it. This information is very clinically relevant to you and your patients. ShyCon 2015 is an upcoming conference in October that you can't miss. There's 400 like-minded people like me, like yourself, that want to know more about how to optimize the health of your patients. You have four days of it. You have 400 doctors who are wanting to get more information on this and do what they need to do and transform medicine and transform the health of your patient and transform your practice. At ShyCon 2015, you can do it. Learn more at seekinghealth.org. Thank you.